haven't seen anybody who is uh, confirming that, hey, we already have the question paper. Remember, you can confirm by straight away writing Y for yes, or even putting uh, some great thumb up like this. Tell me more like this. So, of course, these are questions that you can also get in our revision kits. We have what we call RCM College Revision Kits. And the revision kits, we have an offer going for Kenya shillings a thousand. Each revision kit going for Kenya shillings a thousand. Those revision kits are very well arranged, topically arranged. We have a, a question and a solution by the side. So I'm so sure those are kits which will be able to assist you. All right, now I can see the number is growing. I can see the number in Zoom is growing. So this is the question that we are doing, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing December 2022, question number 6B. And it reads as follows. The demand and the total cost function for a certain farm are represented as follows. And I can see the demand is given in form of a price function. So price there equals 400 minus 4Q. 400 minus 4Q, that is the price. And then we have our total cost. Total cost has been given there as Q squared, Q squared plus Q squared plus Q squared plus 10Q plus 10Q plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 where P is the selling price. TC is the total cost. TC is the total cost. And then we have this enjoyment. Q is the quantity. So they want us to give them marginal cost function. They want us to give them the marginal, marginal. You know, there are students that don't understand the times because guys are very tired. Most of the students we teach are working class people. So you get, especially even students, somebody you are saying they write the word marginal and then you get, get somebody writing marginal like, like, like this marginal, marginal, marginal. It is marginal cost that they want us to calculate, that they want us to derive here. Marginal cost, which we shall be abbreviating as MC. And the marginal analysis, there's, there is something you're supposed to appreciate, ladies and gentlemen, from the word go. And the marginal analysis, whenever you want to get marginal cost from total cost, whenever you want to get marginal cost from total cost, you shall always differentiate. You shall always do what here? Differentiate. So whenever you want to get marginal, marginal cost here, from total cost. Remember, this can only come from total cost. So whenever you are moving this way, you differentiate. You differentiate. And then, of course, the reverse, you integrate. You integrate. I hope you remember integration and differentiation from your high school days. So what are you talking about, Mualimu? That, ladies and gentlemen, here the examiner wants us to ascertain the marginal cost. And to get marginal cost, this marginal cost, we are saying differentiate the total cost function. So in this case here, this marginal cost that they want us to get, we are saying that you are writing down there that basically differentiate, differentiate the total cost function. 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 And I would want to take this one minute to remind ourselves differentiation that we did in a high school differentiation that we did in a high school remember if you are given here y equals a x raised to power n if you are given y equals a x raised to power n how do we differentiate remember differentiation has got every association with differentiation has got every association with the gradient gradient and if you remember gradient we talk about changing y over changing x like that so whenever they want us to differentiate a function like this it's very easy to differentiate it's very easy to differentiate why am i saying it's very easy to differentiate because of the two things the power will fall down the power falls down and then of course we have in the second step where we shall be able to reduce the old power by one so the power falls down. This is what we have. This N comes here. So we shall talk of NUX. NUX. This N comes down. 
So we shall talk of nux. And then from this old power n, we shall come and reduce it by one. So we shall come and deduct one there. So anytime they talk about differentiation, two things, the power falls down, giving us nux. And then we have n minus one being our new, our new power. So ladies and gentlemen, if for example, you are given this kind of a function, if you're given this kind of a function, y equals 10 x raised to power five, y equals 10 x raised to power five. Are you able to give me dy over dx? Let me see whether I've got good students who will be able to do the next thing. Who will be able to do the next thing? If y equals 10 x raised to power five, do we have some good students here who are able to do the next thing? Next thing, what will be the dy over dx? What will be the dy over dx here? What will be the dy over dx? 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 I'm waiting to hear from you, great students. If y equals 10 raised to power x, what will be dy over dx? Please talk to me this morning. And remember, anybody who is going to talk to me, anybody who is going to talk to me, often will get a present. Will get a present. Talk to me. Differentiate y equals 10x raised to power five please differentiate that for me differentiate that for me i'm really really waiting to see i'm really really waiting to see those guys will be able to differentiate those guys will be able to differentiate so i'm waiting to see those guys will be able to differentiate all right All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking at uh, this uh, so that we can. So I'm waiting for people to give me answers here. Ah, great, great. Great. All right, all right, all right. Great, great. All right. So because I've never taught most of you, let me see in this case here who is correct and then we reward them. So remember this is 10x raised to power 5. 10x raised to power 5. We've just said here that uh, the power 5 will come down, this next thing. So when it comes down 5 times 10, that gives us what here? 50. That gives us 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 50. So it's very easy to differentiate. It's very, very easy. What are we doing here? We are differentiating 10 x raised to the power 5. So we expect this 5 to fall down. So it falls down. We have our dy over dx. The 5 comes down and gives us 50. x raised to a reduced power. X raised to a reduced power. And our reduced power will be the old power minus 1. The old power minus 1, that is 5 minus 1. That gives us 4. So who was the first person to get this correctly? Who was the first person to get this correctly? We give them a reward. Who was the first person to get this correctly? We give them a reward. I think it is this person calling himself Decifer. Decifer, do you have a Safaricom number? I send you a reward right now. Are you able to give me your mobile number? Your mobile number, I send you a reward right now. In my classes, students are winners. 
Despa, are you able to give me? All right, so straight away, I go to my M-Pesa. I go to my M-Pesa. My M-Pesa. If you're so keen in my class, you'll get so many presents, including the guys who are following me on Facebook. If you're giving me answers there, then you'll be able to get so many presents, so many presents. Before the class ends, some of you will be having presents to the tune of thousands, tune of thousands, tune of thousands, tune of thousands. So we have here Desfi 079, 079053. I can't read the last digits so that uh, guys who are following on Facebook, they should not be able to reach out to Desifa. All right. So that, that's 300 shillings. I'm so sure that can help somewhere. Musaka. Musaka confirmed me have gotten. So this guy has known how to differentiate. Another student who will be able to get a present is this student who will be able to differentiate this for me. If you differentiate this for me, and of course you are the very first to differentiate this, even when those who are on Facebook or wherever, they'll get a present. So if you're given here y equals 10x squared plus 100x plus 50, what is the dy over dx? What is the first derivative of this? What is the first derivative of this? So I'm simply looking at uh, Facebook. I'm looking at my Zoom students. If you'll be the first one to pin this down correctly, then automatically you get a present. You get a present. You get a present. Then automatically you get a present. And I would present. I don't give presents that are too low. No. I give good presents to good students. Remember, it is about getting it correct, and you are the first one. And you are the first one. So I'm looking around. Even these ninjas who are following us on Facebook, do they have, in this case, here the correct answer? If you have the correct answer, then automatically you should be able to get a present. You should be able to get a present right away. Just differentiating this. Just differentiating this. It is so easy to differentiate. It is so easy to differentiate. To differentiate is so easy. It's so easy, it's so easy, it's so easy, it's so easy, it's so easy. Ah, great. This gentleman has received, great. So I'm just waiting. In this case, here, Lilina Koth has given me some suggested answer there. Lilina Koth has given me some suggested answer there. We have Brendan Jeha gave me a 20x plus 100. We have Mugweru Wangeshi. 20x plus 100. Great. Let's see who is correct. Let's see who is correct. Facebook, I can't see anybody who has commented there. Ah, Facebook, I can see MG Ken, but MG Ken, you are wrong. There is something small that has messed you up, MG Ken. MG Ken, there is something small that has messed you up there. Something small that has, that has messed you up there. So, ladies and gentlemen, then our dy over dx here, what do we have? Our dy over dx here will be equal to, so these two comes down. We differentiate one term at a time. These two comes down. It gives me 20x raised to a new power. The new power will be 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is, the, is as good as 1. And you see, you can't write raised to 1. 1 is supposed to be silent. Plus, ladies and gentlemen, what here? Plus, this is, this is 100x. You know there is an implied one there. When you bring this one down, it will be 100x raised to power 0. 100x raised to power 0. Because you see, the new power is the old power, which is 1 minus 1. So it will be 100x raised to power 0. x raised to 0 is the same as 1. That is the same as saying 100 times 1. So in this case here, this leaves us with what here? With 100. With 100. How about this 50? 50 is what we call a constant. When we have a constant in a function, on deriving, on getting what we call first derivative, constants always disappear. So 50 does not have x. It's a constant. This 50 is a constant on this function. So when we go to the first derivative, which means differentiating, then automatically the 50 disappears, and this is the correct answer. 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 So is there anybody who was able to get this correctly? Is there anybody who was able to get this correctly? 
dy over dx equals 20x plus 100. And who was it? Who was the first one? Who was the first one? So I'm looking at both Zoom and the Facebook. We give them a reward. Who was the first one? Did you see x plus 5x? No, nope, nope. Who was the first one? Please be very fast in telling me who was the first. Who was the first? And then the other present that I'll be giving, I'll be giving away a great present to that student who is welcoming their colleagues, who is inviting their colleagues to join us in Zoom. If you are welcoming your colleagues and we shall be able to get like 10 colleagues, you've been able to invite yourself from various WhatsApp groups, from various Facebook groups, then I'll be able to give you a very good present, which will be able to buy you like three, or let me be very fair, two bags of cement, two bags of cement, two bags of cement. So who was the first one to get it here on WhatsApp, or not WhatsApp, but uh, Zoom? Here we have Anthony. I'm able to see my charts here, 20X plus 100. Uh, came from Anthony. So Anthony, are you able to give me my, your number here very fast? I give you your present. Anthony, are you able to give me your number? I give you a present right away, Anthony. Today is a day of gifting my students. Today, I will give you guys so many gifts, so many gifts. But remember, you are getting this free of charge session from RCM Online College. RCM Online College, we charge Kenya shillings 4,800 per subject. And with this 4,800, we shall be able to give you videos. We shall be able to give you uh, Zoom classes and even notes. You only pay 4,800 and we give you videos. We give you Zoom classes and then we give you notes. And then most importantly, the 4,800 also covers what we call the block revision, like now what you're doing, where we normally teach you guys how to harvest low-hanging marks. So if you're interested with our sessions, of course, this is our number. Just call us, 793 triple zero. Aha, uh -huh. so this guy called Anthony, has he sent uh, his number? Oh yes, let me give him a present. So, and I always like balancing gender. I like balancing gender. So I hope the next person will be able to get some stuff correctly. Should be a lady, I like balancing gender. We also need baby girls, our baby girls to get something. We can't be just uh, eating this thing like men alone. No. No. So, Anthony, you have your gift there. Oh, Despa is a baby girl. Great. 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 So this Anthony guy should be able to confirm, should be able to confirm that he has received his gift. He has received his gift. All right. So I don't know whether this differentiation now, all of us, we are okay. Please allow me to repeat just one. If, for example, you are given here like say, Y equals 500X. So to get dy over dx, to get dy over dx, first of all, imagine the implied one. So this one comes down, the Nux, Nakuru people, Nux. So you take this one down, one times 500, this gives us 500, X raised to a new power. And the new power here will be one minus one, N minus one. So this will be the same as 500, X raised to zero. In mathematics, X raised to zero is the same as one. So then this one here means 500 times one, which will end up giving me 500 like that. Thank you, Anthony. So if, for example, you are given like y equals a thousand, and then somebody tells you, hey, I want dy over dx. This a thousand without x, of course, it's known as what here? It's known as a constant. And the constants always disappear on differentiation. So this one here, dy over dx will be exactly equal to who? Will exactly be equal to zero. Will exactly be equal to zero. So up to there, are we together? Remember in my class, everyone is a winner even by putting a smiling emoji there, right? By saying something, I can easily pick you and say, hey, this guy is the most, I mean, in terms of engaging the others, is the most active and we should be able to give them a present. So are we together up to here? If you are, you are not together, of course you say no. No, 
are we together? I can see Njoye raising up his hand. Would you want to talk to us? Brenda, do I unmute you or you raised by mistake? Ask to unmute. Brenda, please talk to us. Would want to hear your voice. Brenda, you raised your hand. Do you want to talk to us? You can just unmute and say hi and ask questions. Ask a question. Hello, everyone. Yes, great. Hope you are well. So you my, question, well. my question is, uh, where do we use the log? Like when we, we, we drop the nth term. Okay. So when do we use the logarithm? Thank you very much. That's a very good question. You know, for example, for example, if somebody gives you here 10 raised to power x, all right, equals something say like 30, and then they want you, they want you to make x the subject of the formula. And of course, evaluate it, evaluate it. So Brenda is very right. One of the ways that you could use it is, is to introduce logarithms to both sides. So if I introduce logarithm to both sides, then I'll have here log 10 raised to x equals log what here? Equals log 30. All right. And once you have now introduced this logarithm here, this x can come here. All right. So in this case here, we have x log 10 equals uh, log 30. Then now I can easily make x the subject of the formula. So then x will be log 30, log 30 over log what here? Logarithm 10 log 30 over logarithm 10, log 30 over logarithm 10, like that. Please listen. This lady is asking a very, very important question. Is asking a very important question. She's asking a very important question. I would want a good student from your calculators before I proceed with my today's work. In your calculators, please look for a function called log, logarithm, and then give me log 25. What is log 25? What is log 25? Is there somebody who can help me here? What is log 25? And I can see there is somebody who is aggressively bringing their fellow members to come and join my class. Because now we are at number 17. That's a very good number for this subject. Very good number for this. We shall be able to reward you. So please give me what is log 25 from your calculators from your calculators. I have Anthony giving me 1.3979. 1.3979. Do I have anybody in this case here from Facebook who is giving me answers as well? Because we need to, we need to, we need to reward them. 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 Aha, uh -huh, 1.39. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's again repeat this exercise. How about, you see, 25 is the same as 5 squared. How about log 5 squared? How about log 5 squared? How about log 5 squared? Can somebody try this out? Just write there, logarithm 5 squared. Logarithm 5 squared. Logarithm 5 squared. Logarithm 5 squared. Is there somebody who is able to punch logarithm 5 with a square? And then in this case here, give us an answer there give us an answer there give us an answer there how i wish you guys knew, knew who aura is i mean you'll get so many presents if you are active if you're active log five squared so log five squared what do we have here so log five squared ladies and gentlemen what we have there is 1.3979 1.3979 thank you so much then the very last one, you know, mathematically indices, you can now drop this power down. You can drop this power down comfortably and write there 2 log 5. Can somebody confirm that 2 log 5 will end up giving us 1.3979? Can somebody confirm that log, log 2 log 5? Because you can comfortably drop this to here. Can somebody say there are 2 times log 5? 2 times log 5. Is it giving us the same 1.3979? Is it giving us 1.3979? Is it giving us 1.3979? Yeah, it is. So that is the question that Brenda is asking. When do we get to use log and then drop the power? We drop the powers. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a very good question, but it is not applicable to us here when we are differentiating. When differentiating, we don't bring that here. But of course, if 
we are doing like what we call ordinary differential, ordinary differential equations, ODE, all right? We are doing the partial differentiations, ETC, then that concept here will apply. But for us in economics, in quantitative analysis, the kind of mathematics we do here is very, very basic. We shall not be introducing what here, any logarithms there. We shall not be introducing any logarithms there. So for us, as what we're required here to master are these simple concepts. When the examiner comes and gives you an equation like y equals 30x raised to power four plus 40x plus, for example, 100, if you're given this kind of a function by an examiner, and then this examiner comes and asks you to differentiate so long as you are able to remember the general differentiation formula, y equals ax raised to power n, you are able to remember here dy over dx equals nux. So you bring this n ahead. So equals nax. And then from the old power, you subtract what you subtract one. So in this case here, we shall bring this n down here. So when you bring this n down here, 30 times 4, it gives me 120x raised to a new power. How do we get this new power? We subtract one from the old power. So 40 mi 4 minus 1, I mean. 4 minus 1 gives me 3. Plus, you see here, there is an implied raised to power 1. When I bring this down, it knocks on 40. It gives me 40 times 1, which is 40. X raised to a new power. And to get the new power, we are taking 1 minus 1. To get the new power, we are taking the old power, which is 1. 1 minus 1 gives me 0. You see, I can't write x raised to zero. It will be unprofessional to write x raised to zero, knowing for sure that any number raised to zero is one. So I can't say, this is the same as saying 40 times one, 40 times one, 40 times one, all right? Plus, ladies and gentlemen, in this case here, this 100 is what we call a constant. And the constants, whenever they are differentiated, they always disappear. Constants, whenever they are differentiated, they always disappear. So in this case here, then, the final answer here will be 120x raised to 3 plus 40x. What are we doing? We are doing this question, December 2022, question number 6b, economics question. They have given us the demand or price function. They have given us the total cost function. They have given us the total cost function. And then the first requirement is for us to come and derive the marginal cost function. They want us to derive the marginal cost function. They want us to derive the marginal cost function. They want us to ascertain the And I did tell you, great students of mine, under marginal analysis, marginal cost can only be obtained from total cost. And you only get marginal cost by differentiating the total cost. So then in this case here, what you're supposed to do is to look for total cost and differentiate it. So do we have this total cost? So please, yes. So go ahead and differentiate this. So you're saying that marginal cost will be equal to the derivative of the total cost with respect to what here? Remember here they have used Q instead of X as quantity. So is there anybody now who is able to differentiate this for me? Anybody who is able to differentiate this for me very nicely? I'm trying to look for anybody on Facebook to give a present, but apparently the Facebookers it's like they don't want my presence. It's like they don't want my presence. It's like they don't want my presence. These Facebookers. I'm trying to look for somebody, especially from Facebook. From Facebook on Facebook, my name is Joshua Aura, ACCA Mentor. Joshua Aura, ACCA Mentor. So you look for Joshua Aura, ACCA Mentor, ACCA Mentor. And I confidently tell my students that I'm the chairman of CPA, students in Kenya, chairman, or the kingpin of CPA, students, kingpin. Of CPS series. So once you get this page, number one, you follow it. We can't be direct friends because I've already hit my maximum, which is 5,000. So simply follow Mwalimu. It's important to follow Mwalimu. And of course, not unless you don't want your Mwalimu to prosper. Once you are here, you have an obligation to ensure that Mwalimu's content goes viral. Mwalimu should be teaching abroad. Not abroad, but globally. And how do I get there? 
all of us have got our various special kind of connections. If you share my video on your platform, you are really uplifting me. You are uplifting me. So then what are we doing? I can see students who are right here. I can see students who are right here like Purity Morongo. Purity Morongo. She has known that uh, to get marginal cost, we are differentiating the total cost. The total cost. And she's gone ahead in this case here to differentiate so nicely. To differentiate so nicely. So please go ahead and differentiate this so the two comes down. So that it gives me two Q raised to one. Then this 10Q, we know that there is an implied one here. It comes down and it gives me plus 10Q raised to zero. I'll not write Q raised to zero. I'll just leave it at 10. And then 30 differentiated gives me zero. 30 differentiated becomes a constant. So this is the marginal cost. If I were you, I would uh, come here and highlight this in a yellow highlighter. Yellow highlighters for the notes. They really bring things conspicuously, conspicuously. Especially when you come to make reference to them in the future. You'll be able to see yellow highlighter. Better don't use blue highlighters. Don't use green highlighters. Use yellow highlighters. Not because they produce presidents. No, no, no. Mine is beyond there. I know that yellow highlighter is just very attractive here. All right. All right. So that is okay. So number one, done. Number one, done. And please don't forget to invite students in this platform. Now here, there is no present. Here, there is no present. But the next one, I'm going to give a present. The next question, I'm going to give a present. The next question, I'm going to give a present. So in the next question, what are they asking me here? I should be able to give a present. I should be able to give a present here. So next question, Roman 2, of this December 2022, question 6b, they want me to give them the marginal revenue function. They want me to give them the marginal revenue function. So we get marginal revenue by differentiating the total revenue. We get marginal revenue by differentiating the total revenue. But you see this examiner was a tricky examiner. He has not given us total revenue. What he has given us is the price. So then I need to find a way of changing the price to total revenue, of changing the price to total revenue. I need to find a way of changing the price to total revenue, and I'll be able to find the way. I will be able to find the way right away. Now, let me ask you a question. Assuming I'm selling uh, pens like this, and each pen, I'm selling each pen for 10 shillings. If I sell five pens by the end of the day, how much money will I say I have collected? Each pen is going for 10 bob and I've sold in this case here five pens. How much will be my revenue? 50 years, 50 years. So how have they gotten this revenue of 50? What this student has done to get this total revenue, they have known to get total, which is the same as total sales. What we do is to take price times quantity sold price times quantity sold. So in short, total revenue is PQ, PQ. And fortunately, we happen to be having the price. The price here is 400. The price here is 400 minus 4Q times Q like that. Please look at what I'm doing here. I'm putting the price in brackets. If you forget putting that price in brackets, you get an entire zero. You get an entire zero. You get an entire zero because you see price has got two terms here. Price has got two terms and I would want all these price terms to be multiplied with Q, to be multiplied with Q. So then can you kindly go ahead and expand and open those brackets? Go ahead and open those brackets. So if you open, open those brackets, our total revenue will be equal to this Q is going to multiply each of these terms. So in this case here, our total revenue will be 400 Q. Minus this one multiplied with Q gives me 4Q squared, like that. So total revenue is 400Q minus minus 4Q squared. I would want to post there a little bit, a little bit, and get to know whether up to here are we together? Are we together? Up to here, are we together? If you're together, you can simply mention there Y for yes. 
why for yes or just yes in full all right all right all right thank you very much so i've been able to get total revenue but remember i haven't yet shot the question asked by the examiner. This is just, but by the way, this is just like how a lion will be going for a gazelle and then it meets a rabbit on the road. So of course it'll eat the rabbit, but still will have its eyes on the final prize. So this that we have gotten here is total revenue. The question is, how do we change this total revenue to marginal revenue? Now we want to give birth to marginal revenue 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 and we have just said that any time they want us to give them ladies and gentlemen any time that they want us to give them marginal revenue any time that they want us to give them marginal revenue marginal revenue marginal revenue marginal revenue will be equal to the derivative of total revenue derivative you differentiate derivative means you differentiate you differentiate the total revenue so i would want to know whether there is anybody who is able to differentiate this total revenue and then now we give a present we give a present but because this is simple i'll only give 100 bob because this is simple i'll only give 100 bob 100 bob so i think mogweru wangeshi is the first one to nail it down Is it, uh, let me see. Who is the first one to get it? Who is the first one to get it? Who is the first one to get it? So we have Desfa there. We have uh, David. David missed out on the sign. Quite unfortunate, David. Painful. So after David, who just missed a sign there, unfortunately, David, how I wish we had a way of you correcting. It is Desfa who got it right after David just missed a sign. Thank you, guys. This is a very good class that I have today. Ladies and gentlemen, please go ahead and differentiate this with respect to Q. So with respect to Q differentiation, of course, there is a raised to power one there. So then we will have this dropped. So when you differentiate, you drop this. So then this will be 400 Q raised to zero. So Q raised to zero, I won't write Q raised to zero. Minus, then we have the two coming down, minus eight what year, minus eight Q, you are right. So you can also write it the other way around, minus eight Q plus 400, but don't really be changing those terms. Let it be like that. So and the Desfa was the first one to get it right, not unless I'm wrong. Desfa was the first one to have it right. Desfa was the first one to have it right, not unless I'm wrong. So Desfa, again, give me a number. I don't limit students in terms of presents I give. So long as you're active, you're proactive, you will end up getting a lot of money from me. A lot of money from me. So Desfa, again, I must have forgotten your number. All right. All right, all right. But everybody is a winner. So long as you are talking in my class, so long as you are bringing me students to attend my live classes, so long as you like me as your father in the industry, then automatically you will get so many presents from me. And so long as you get to pass round one, you get to pass round one. We don't want students who pass in their second round. We want students to pass first time round. Musaka. All right. So there, there we are. We've been able to differentiate. We've been able to get marginal revenue. That's number one. That's number two. And again, remember that good students should always number their workings very well. So you've been able to number Roman one and Roman two. Those ones are perfectly uh, down there down there so we want to go to number three number three they want us to give them the average variable cost function average variable cost function i would want to remain silent a little bit for three minutes and see whether we have any student who will be able to get it right we give them a present and how i wish this present this time round would be taken by somebody who is on facebook following, following walimu on facebook so this present is not, not being given to people who are in Zoom. 
actually if i am the one who is uh, in zoom now i'll straight away go to facebook look for joshua aura acc mentor and then put my answer there because this time around this is a present for the facebookers for the facebookers my facebook handle is joshua aura acc mentor acc mentor joshua aura acc mentor is my facebook handle once you are there please drop i don't limit again if decify is able to move straight away to facebook get joshua aura acc mentor i'm live there you'll be able to see the live video there and once you see me there put your correct answer there and you'll get a present this is a bigger present this is not a hundred shillings present this is a bigger present and then of course as we also talk here I would want to take this opportunity to thank all of you. I can see my numbers are growing here. There must be a person who is inviting these students. There must be a person who is inviting these students to attend my Zoom meeting in Zoom. So who is that student who should be given a reward for calling so many of you to attend here? Is there somebody who can vote for somebody who has been able to invite them they're here courtesy of who then i should be able to give them a present lillian Akoth, correct answer somehow but you are putting that answer on the wrong platform i said if you want a present go to facebook give me your answer there this is basically going to facebook people facebook people facebook people next time when i'll be live on youtube also the youtube people i should be able to reward them i should be able to reward them Average variable cost. 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 Let me see whether there is anybody on Facebook who has been able to give me that answer correctly. Give me that answer correctly. So the correct answer here is supposed to be Q plus 10. And this lady really is a bright lady. Lillian, of course, is a bright lady, but you are missing out on a very important, very big present simply because you never followed the instructions. Simply because you never followed instructions. We said go to, we said go to Facebook, look for Joshua Aura. Go there and give me. So like now the one who gets this is Damaris Mumbua. So Damaris Mumbua on Facebook, are you able to give me your number there? Are you able to give me your number? You can put it there. There is no problem. Put your number there. I send you a great gift. This is a great gift. A great gift. And please do quite uh, fast because of time. Damaris Mumbua is the winner of the best gift of the day. She's the one who is winning a jackpot. She's the one who is winning a jackpot. Lillian also here in Zoom had obtained it, had gotten it correctly, but unfortunately she brought it in a wrong platform. Ah, Damaris Mumbo already have a number. All right. All right. All right. Damaris Mumbo. All right, uh, eight and nine, fifty eight. Cut. And then I should be able to come here very fast. She gets the lion's share. Please don't announce to anybody how much you've gotten because this will shock you as well. So all the other guys can only get an, a smaller amount than that. All the other guys can only get a smaller amount than that. Kivuva, Damaris, all right. All right. Be blessed. Thanks for being active. Thanks for being active. I like rewarding my students because, you know, outside here, most of you are age mates. Youths outside here, most of them are doing very very relevant things things that can never assist them in their lives but here you are 
seeking for education. You've known the right path. That's why I like, in this case, you're rewarding my students. All right. So then let me do this question. Let me do the question. Let me do the question. Let me do this question. So now the next present will be coming to students in Zoom. That's how we'll be interchanging. So the next present is coming to students now who are in Zoom, in Zoom, in Zoom, in Zoom, in Zoom. The question is, how do you get to Zoom? If you want to get to Zoom, of course, you have to call this number and ask people to put you in a WhatsApp group. You need to join our WhatsApp group. This is the number 0793 triple five thousand. So ladies and gentlemen, remember by definition, what is fixed cost? Fixed cost is that cost that remains constant regardless of the production level. So it doesn't matter how much you produce, fixed cost will always be what here, yeah, constant. So assuming you're looking at a, a college setup like RCM college, if for example, we are paying rent for this space, for this room, we are paying rent of 10,000. In the event that we don't get any student in a particular semester, in the event that we don't get any student in a particular semester, still rent has to be paid. If you are to get like even thousands and thousands of students, as so long as we are able to fit them in here, the landlord can't come to ask for more. We'll still pay 10,000. So you can see the concept of uh, this cost really being fixed the same. If I was to draw this on a graph, this is how fixed costs behave like. Fixed cost. So regardless of the quantity you sell, fixed cost will always be what here will be constant. They'll always be constant. How about variable cost? Variable costs are those costs that are uh, related to the quantity. The quant they're dependent on the quantity that you produce. So if, for example, you have a function like this, cost equals 10x plus 20, automatically this one here that doesn't have x, the one that doesn't have x is fixed. Because when X is zero, then automatically this one here will disappear, but 20 will still remain as the total cost. So then ladies and gentlemen, what you need to do to be able to understand the variable cost, you need the total cost of your farm. Like in this question, December 2022 question, these guys have given us, 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 they have given us the total cost. So total cost here is Q squared, is Q squared plus 40Q, plus 40Q, no, plus 10Q, plus 10Q, plus 10Q, plus 30, plus 30. You see this 30 is the only cost item which doesn't have a Q, which is not associated with the quantity produced whatsoever. So it means that this is fixed, but these two are variable costs. Therefore, our variable cost will be Q squared plus 10Q because the two have quantities like that. But you see this examiner wants average. Average. How do we get average cost? Assuming we have got three students. One has 50 kilograms, another one 60 kilograms, another one 70 kilograms. So assuming we have got three students, ladies and gentlemen here, where one has 50, another has 60, another has 70. So if you are interested in the average, if you're interested in the average, how will you be able to get the average cost, average uh, mass, average kilograms? You add and then you divide by three the same case, average, the mean. So in this case here, yeah, whenever they want us to give them AVC, average variable cost, you shall take the variable cost that you have divided by Q. Variable cost you have divided by Q. So you shall come here and talk of Q squared plus 10Q divided by Q. Divided by Q. Now let me ask you first of all an easy question here. And this doesn't have any reward. This doesn't have any reward. Assuming you have here 10 minus 5 divided by 5. 10 minus 5 divided by 5. What is the final answer, by the way? Bodimas, what is the final answer? Take care of the numerator first. Whatever answer you get there, you divide by five. You divide by the denominator. What answer do we have there, ladies and gentlemen? What answer do we have, ladies and gentlemen? Aha, uh -huh. Brendan J here is giving me one. Thank you very much. You see what they have done, Bodimas? They have told me a 10 minus five is five. Five divided by five. 
which give them what? Yes, somebody which give them one. But you see the same mathematics, you can expand. You can come and distribute, using distributive law, you can distribute this five here. Say 10 divided by five, minus five divided by five like that. So what is 10 divided by five? 10 divided by five gives me two. 10 divided by five gives me two. Five divided by five gives me one. And you see two minus one gives me what there? Gives me one. That is the same approach I would want us to do here, to distribute this Q here. So if you distribute this Q here, then automatically each numerator term, Q squared will be given its own Q. And then we have 10 Q being given what there? Being given a Q like that. You see now here Q squared means what here? Q times Q. So Q times Q divided by Q, I can see I'll be left with Q alone. Q alone. So meaning as a gentleman that here, I will talk of Q, Q plus who? Q plus 10 because this and this will cancel. There is one day I asked a student here, Q squared over Q is what? And then somebody told me two. I did not understand how he was getting two. But later on when I slept, I came to the realization that this guy was literally dividing. No. Because you see Q squared, Q squared, Q squared is the same as what here Q times Q. So when I say divide by Q, then Q, Q will go. So I'll be left with Q plus 10 like that. And that is the final answer of A, V, C. Average variable cost. Average variable cost becomes Q plus who? Q plus 10. This is the final answer for average variable cost. Average variable cost. So up to here, are we together, ladies and gentlemen? Up to here, are we together, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Is there any student who would want to be taught economics by myself? Of course, we have uh, the great guy called Odongo there. But is there any student who would want, in this case, here at times, Mwalim to be coming in during Odongo's sessions and maybe teach one or two topics? Because I teach the advanced level, but I love economics so much. It's a paper that I taught for so long. So is there a student who feels that this Mwalimu is equally good? That this Mwalimu can be of help? This Mwalimu can be of help? Ah, great, 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 great. Then we shall be able to reach a deal today. I'll be able to tell you what we shall do. Great. So then we have the average variable cost. We have the average variable cost. So after getting this average variable cost, I would want us straight away to look at uh, the next question. The next question, after getting the average variable cost, they want me to give them the profit maximizing level of output. I know this one will always be asked because it is a fundamental principle of economics. Economics is all about optimization, going for the best results. Economics is all about efficiency. So optimization, we want the highest profit. And there is a, an, an economic model that is very, very important. In economics, we know that uh, at maximum profit, at maximum profit, there is a principle that we know. This one here is going to carry a big, 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 big. It's going to carry a big, 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 big something. This is going to carry a big, big, big something. A big, big, big something. A big, big, big present. At maximum profit, at maximum profit, at maximum profit, there is a very important principle. Is there somebody who is able to remember this economics principle? At this apex point, maximum profit. At maximum profit, what happens? At maximum profit, what happens? At maximum profit, what happens? Something. Thank you very much, Demaris. Thank you very much, Demaris. At maximum profit, marginal revenue. Marginal revenue marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost. So the incremental, remember marginal is the same as the incremental. The marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost. Marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost. Marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost. So I forgot my marginal revenue, but do we have any student who is able to remind us the marginal revenue that we got. Is there any student who is able to remind us the marginal revenue that we got? 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 Marginal revenue function. Somebody is able to remind us. Somebody should be able to remind us. We got this in part one. According to Purity Mar Morogo, it's 400 minus 8Q. It's 400 minus 8Q. Equals marginal cost. 
How about marginal cost? How about marginal cost? How about marginal cost? How about marginal cost? Is there somebody who is able to remind us the marginal cost? Marginal cost, marginal cost. Formula. The function that we got, marginal cost. Please remind us the marginal cost. Please remind us the marginal cost. Please remind us the marginal cost equals who? Marginal cost equals who? Marginal cost equals who? 2Q plus 10. 2Q, 2Q plus 10. So then our role is very easy. It's all about just equating the two functions and making the Q the subject of the formula. Making Q the subject of the formula. So we're going to put together those terms that love each other. So like this 2Q, we take it here. So it will be minus 8Q minus 2Q equals 10 remains. Of course, this one, when it crosses over, it will change the sign. When this 2Q crosses over, it will change the sign. It becomes minus 2Q equals 10 is remaining here. But you see this 400 is going to change the sign. So 400 is crossing over. So it becomes minus 400 here. It becomes minus 400 here. So it will be minus 10Q equals minus 390. Minus 10Q equals minus 390, meaning that Q will be equal to who? Meaning that Q will be minus 390 over minus 10, which will end up giving me 30 what here, which will end up giving me 39. Kibisu Joan has been able to get Q is 39. So if they want to maximize their profits, then automatically they should be able, they should be able to do what here, they should be able to sell. 39 units exactly, not 40, not 41, not 20, but exactly 39. If they are looking at what we call optimization, if they're 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 looking at what we call optimization. So up to there, are we together? Unfortunately, my number went down a little bit in Zoom, but it's now coming up. 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 All right, uh, so then if you allow Mwalimu, I'll be able to go to the very last question of the day where they want us to give them, where they want us to give them Roman five, the maximum profit itself. So they want us to give them the maximum profit. So for me to be able to get this maximum profit, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I need to do. It's very easy. To get this maximum profit, we have known the profit maximizing quantity which is 39. So then what we need to do, what we need to do, what we need to do is to come here, is to come here and do what, ladies and gentlemen? What we need to do is to derive the profit. So derive the profit function first. Derive the profit function. Derive the profit function. So how do we get profit? Profit is total revenue minus total cost. Total revenue minus total cost. Remember, profit for us is always uh, abbreviated with pi. So whenever you see pi, don't think about 22 over 7. Don't think about 3.14. No, pi for us is profit. And for us to get profit, we normally take total revenue minus total what here? Cost. Total revenue minus total cost. So is there somebody who can remind us what our total revenue function was? Is there anybody who can remember what? We got it somewhere. Yes. We got it some, somewhere. We got the total revenue function somewhere. We got the total revenue function somewhere. We got the total revenue function somewhere. Perhaps you may have forgotten, but we got it somewhere. We got it somewhere. Is there somebody who can remember that our total revenue, our total revenue was 400Q, was 400Q. Our total revenue was 400Q. 400Q minus 4Q squared. Is there anybody who is able to remember this? That was our marginal, or rather our, thank you, purity, our total revenue. Minus our total cost, we also got total cost somewhere. Actually, total cost is given by the examiner. Total cost is actually given by the examiner. Total cost is actually given by the examiner. The total cost that we have here, total cost that we have here, given by the examiner is Q squared, is Q squared plus 10Q, plus 10Q, plus 10Q, 
plus 30. See what I'm doing? I'm putting the respective functions in their own private bedrooms, in their own brackets. Should you forget putting them in their own brackets, then you're going to miss out on the signs. So please let's open, let's open, let's open the brackets. So how do we open the brackets here? Of course, when opening the brackets, we must be cognizant of the sign that is outside the bracket. Like outside, of course, I've got no sign. It's impliedly positive. Positive is a weaker sign. Positive sign is hot air. Just hot, but hot air. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So in this case, your positive sign here will not change any terms inside here. So these terms remain because it's simply blowing hot air. But whenever we talk of a negative being outside, negative must see all the terms here changing their sides. So then this will be minus Q squared. All right. We have here minus 10 Q. All right. Minus 30 Q. Because this was positive and it becomes negative. Negative, negative like that. After that, ladies and gentlemen, we shall put together those terms that love each other. We put together those terms that love or like terms. Let's put them together. Those terms like each other. All right. All right. All right. So you're putting them together. I hope this was 4Q squared. Let me just confirm whether this was 4Q squared. 4Q squared. Let me confirm because it's good to be very, very exact. In this mathematics, we have to be very exact. We must be very exact. 4Q minus, yes. So you can see here we have 400Q and this 10Q. So these are like terms, like terms. You know, you can't read this as 10Q. This minus 10Q. We have a negative sign coming before it. So this negative sign coming before 10 is part and parcel of that 10. So when you read this, you read this 400Q minus 10Q, which gives me 390Q, 390Q. So this and this, we have taken care of them. Then we have minus four, minus one. Minus four, minus one. We are taking them together. So minus four, minus one Q squared, that gives me minus five Q squared. So I've taken care of these two. And then we have the constant term is lonely. It's lonely, it doesn't have a partner. So what we do is to bring it with a sign. So then this gives us minus what here? Minus 30. This gives us minus 30, minus 30. Let me see whether up to here, are we really together? Are we correct? Is Mualimu correct up to here? 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 Is Mualimu correct? Thank you so much. So remember, they wanted us to give them the maximum profit. And fortunately, we know the profit output maximizer. We know that the output which maximizes profit is 39 units, 39 units. So please come and plug in 39 here. So it will be profit will be 390, 390, all right, multiplied by what here somebody? 39, which is Q, minus 5 times what here somebody? Uh, 39 squared minus 30. If you do it that way, then you should be able to give us the final answer. You should be able to give us the final answer. You should be able to give us the final answer. You should be able to give us the final answer. You should be able to give us the final answer. Are you able to get that final answer? Are you able to get that final answer? What do we have as our maximum profit? Anthony is giving me a figure of 75. 75. Anthony is giving me a figure of 75. 75. So we have here 75. 75. 75. 75. 7575. 75. So, ladies and gentlemen, it has been quite a nice ride with you, I'll be your driver, for the last one hour. Of course, somehow, perhaps I went a bit first. Perhaps I was hitting, in this case, here, some bumps in the wrong way. I may not have impressed you 100%, but I believe we have had a nice journey, and I would want to welcome all of you to come and board this RCM bus 100% by paying us fees. We charge Kenya shillings 4,800, which covers videos, which covers Zoom live classes, and of course, what here? Great notes. 
not forgetting that also that 4800 covers what year the block revision like what we are doing now with you here the concept of knowing like how do we get to harvest low hanging marks all right so thank you i repeat again most importantly of course it's not easy for you to just call students and then they heed to your call after all some of them are at their workplaces all right so that's very important but the most important one is for you to come and become our bona fide student by paying that 4800 all right and then you get access to all those things that i've mentioned here and then again last but not least please ensure that uh, you make rcm the most popular of course like in the upper levels like if you come to my bda class today it has over 400 students if you come to my AFM today, you'll get combined early morning and evening, it has over 300 students, all right? But the lower level down here, we have some challenge, you'll get about 70 students, and really, I don't want, as the principal of RCM, I don't want an inverted pyramid. I would want a pyramid that is self-sustaining, which can only be the normal pyramid with a bigger base. So the part one has to be bigger than any other. And you can only do that we can only be able to achieve that through your networks. Please bring our students, bring our students. So if you're willing to talk to us, uh, make inquiries here, I will repeat again for the umpteenth time that this is our number, 0793-555-000. And this is our pay bill. Our pay bill, our pay bill is 6242, 6242-839. Account number, you write your subjects here, your subjects here. So for example, if you are doing economics, you can simply say econ, FA, you simply list those subjects like that. And then of course, don't forget our number for inquiries. It is 0793-555-000. Great, great, great. I can see some comments here. Like Brando say, uh, Brenda, they are saying, wow, I've learned a lot today. Thanks so much for sharing this knowledge. You're most welcome and we shall be doing this often. Please give me students, give me people to teach. Thank you so much. Be blessed. And uh, not unless there is anybody who has got uh, anything to share with us, I beg to disappear. Have a lovely day at your workplaces. Shine there. That's how we sell RCM. Let's be different there. Let's be committed to our work. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. You're welcome. Great.